In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to beat man-to-man -man defense in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is designed to help you get better at Madden 21. And one of the most challenging things that we're facing right now is really, really good shaded man coverage can force your offense with some issues, especially if they have the horses to run. And if they have the corners, they can take away a lot of stuff. And so in today's video, I want to share a little bit about how I've gone about beating man-to-man -man coverage and the two concepts that are going to be very effective. But before I do that, I want to encourage you, if you want to get better at Madden, if you want to get better at um, not just beating man-to-man -man coverage, but better at the entire game, what I want to encourage you to do is right now go into my description join my discord my discord is kind of the hub it's the best place to stay up to date about everything that i have coming out in madden nfl 21 we're gonna have film studies with the top players we're gonna have uh tip series we're gonna have scheme of the weeks uh for our discord members so a lot of really good stuff on the way and what I want to do right now is go into how do you beat man-to-man -man coverage. But again, I'd really appreciate it if at the end of this video, you would jump into the Discord. It really would mean the world to me. All right, so spread Y slot, um, or I'm sorry, spread Y flex. This is the offense that I feel like um, from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, this is the one that has the best opportunity uh, to beat man-to-man. -man. Now, what you want to do is you want to put your fastest wide receivers in the game. I would, you know, to, to keep the you know the video where you know you can see it with an average receiver, we're going to keep Devin Funchess in here. But uh, Alan Lazard, what I would normally do is I would put Valdez Scantling in here in St. Brown. But I want to show you uh, how this route works against anything. There's a couple of really good concepts, and again, at the end of the day, it's going to overarching theme this year with man-to-man -man coverage is it cover zero is actually a viable option this year um, with the way the man-to-man -man plays and so what I want to do right now is I want to give you just a couple of ideas for how you can beat man-to-man -man. and the first play we're going to go over is why sale so this is a new play in the Arizona Cardinals playbook it wasn't in the playbook last year and I just want to show you just simple we're going to run this stock we're not going to do anything to it at all and what you're going to see is this is kind of the setup so they're going to put both safeties in, in purple zones they're going to have their zone adjustments set so that they can zone them off several yards, like 20 yards, so they can stop crossing routes, out routes, corner routes, all that stuff, right? The interior corner routes, the rollout corners really aren't a thing anymore because of these zone drops. So snap of the ball, what you're going to see though here is we're going to get a little bit of a man switch and I'm going to be able to throw the ball to the running back for a quick 10 yards. And I know, why would you make a video about a flat route? Well, this is why. If we go into history play, I want to show you and you're going to be able to do this very, very consistently. This is one of the things that I've been doing. Just a simple flat route. You see, because of the mechanics of this route right here, it's telling him that he's breaking to the inside, and he's literally going to draw a double team. You see the switch right there? Because they're pressing, there's the switch, and they're going to switch assignments because they're, they're saying that they want that outside slot corner to take Aaron Jones. Well, because you've got because you've got a big tight end big body there it's just a simple switch and you're going to be able to get that simple flat route out now you're going to see it right here again again very simple let him get outside and you can rack that up this year for about 15 to 20 yards so yes it's a flat route but again it's a very good one now you'll see here if i wheel him um, it's not as good. So you don't get the rack. You don't get the rack ability. Oftentimes you'll get catch tackle for about four or five yards. So to me, it's not really worth it. One other thing that you can do off of this if you want to is if you drag Devin Funches, you're going to get even more yards because you're going to get – there's literally no one there. <laughs> I mean, there's literally no one there. It's going to create a natural pick, a natural rub for your receiver. One of the things that I'd like to do is just motion him in. You see just a simple motion in. And it does change the man assignments. Now you see there, if you don't get the switch, if you don't get that switch, it's an issue. Because the the little outside guy, it's basically a quick snap throw. But it does, it is very effective against man to man. I mean, there's no 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 questions about it for me. The running back might be more important in this year's game than it's ever been. That's why I think split close actually has you know some some say this year. But literally, if you take Funches. You know, you can run him on the, the vertical route. It's fine. 
you don't have to not you, you don't want to you know you don't have to mess up with the integrity of the play but if you just take Funches, you maybe even put him on a, a zig simple zig it's gonna cause these little little glitches in the man-to-man -man coverage you're gonna get that little rub and now you're off in the open field with the running back that's a very simple play but it's a very powerful play you see that very simple route now if i go to play y stick you see it's the same exact route now i've got Funches on this little fade route Again, same exact concept, same exact concept, right? You pair the the Y series with that route, you're going to be good to go. Now, one other play that I have in my playbook here, Y cross, you see now I don't have a shoot route to the running back. I have, he's on a little bit more of a, a, a swing route. And you'll see again, you're still going to get that switch, but you're not going to get the same amount of yardage because you don't have that good shoot route that gets that rack ability. So, you know, this is something that you got to have a kind of, Kind of got to be aware of it. And again, you can do all sorts of things with Devin Funches' route, but it's basically going to be a pick. He's setting a pick. That's, in essence, what he's doing. Now, if you keep him on the vertical, you're going to have a much more likelihood of getting that switch. Even if I motion him in here, now you're going to see it's even better. Just with a simple motion, he's getting that, getting the blocking for, um, for uh, Aaron Jones. If I put him on a little vertical curl route, get him inside right in here, you're going to see it's not going to man switch, but you still are able to beat man to man. So that's a simple, simple tactic to beat man to man. Guys, if you want to really expand your knowledge of this playbook, what I want to encourage you to do right now, go in the description. There's a link that says Madden 21 competitive bundle. That is my full Arizona offensive scheme. It's got over 70 pages of breakdowns with it, talking about spread and air raid. It's also my full defensive scheme. So you can get both of those products in the description of this video if you want. Now the next man beater that I have is a little bit more, what I'm gonna say is it's a little bit more consistent because with some different shading techniques, um, they can actually do okay against that. This one right here is a lot better overall in my opinion. It's the mesh play. Now everybody knows I love mesh. It's, it's my favorite play in the game. And the only route that I'm gonna talk about right now is the uh, corner route. Now what I like to do is I like to take De Devonte Adams. If you don't have a route apprentice, you obviously can't put him on a fade stab, but what you can do is you can put him on a little curl route. You can also put him on a post. I like to personally just put him on that simple, simple curl route. I think it's so effective. With my running back, I typically put him on a streak. And then to motion or not to motion is basically the question. But you'll see here, if you don't motion this corner, you can cut it off. You see how I can cut it off there inside position? Now, what I will say is the click on this year is real. People will click on, they will try to pick up, they will try to make picks on that. But what I did want to show you was if they press coverage you, and this is literally shading, and this is dropping the curl flats zones, shading outside. You're gonna see here he's gonna get that outside release, and you see how they're able to stop it. So what I like to do is I like to motion him in a little bit and you're actually going to be able to create some man switches as well. And we'll talk about that in just a second. But first I wanna see, just motion him in, just do two steps. And what you'll see is you're able to still cut it off against off man. Against off man coverage, you're still able to cut that ball off. Against press man coverage, that's where it's gonna make a real difference. So against press man coverage, you're gonna bring him in and you wanna get him kind of almost to the tight end, right there. And you'll see you're going to be able to, you're typically going to be able to get him out there. That time he was able to get me. So what we basically need to work on is can we create a man switch? So what I'm going to do is dual hitches. I'm just going to leave the running back in the block. And now let's see if we can create a simple man switch with the routes. Weren't able to do it there. That's okay. But effectively what it boils down to, and this is, I talked about this in, a, in an earlier video, but if you do double zigs, you do, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to, again, you're trying to get a man switch because so that you can get outside leverage. That's that's what people don't understand about this. It's a, it's a, it's a game of leverage. Madden has really helped the man covers this year be a little bit more effective. But if the, a leverage game, you have the zigs, you see we, we're not able to get there. So that's with shading, that's with everything that they can do. But if they don't do those things, then what you'll see is you motion him in, snap of the ball, get him out there, hard right pass lead, and he's going to be able to beat man-to-man. -man. 
Now, with the shading game that they're going to play on you, you can do some other things as well. Again, this is a simple guide to beating man to man from a spread set. We have some other videos that are going to come out soon that are going to help you a little bit more dominantly beat man to man. But man to man is tough this year. Um, it's definitely a different season of Madden. You're going to see a lot of man to man this year. But watch, if I have that zig there, you see how it's it's kind of tender. It starts to work a little bit better together. Um, one of the other things that you can try is run basically four verticals, um, six. Whoops, I'm sorry, I called the wrong play. But if you run four verticals here, uh, whoops, off of this, and we're just tagging these outside routes, now, snap of the ball, and it's still beating it. Again, you want to manually click on. Now again, if you have route running, if you have better route running than him, or if you have better speed than him, you're going to win. But what I'm trying to help you with is for those teams that don't have that, give you pretty universal man beaters. So this one right here is my favorite so far. Because on the left side of the screen, you're actually going to be able to still beat it. You've got a little pivot route. We know right now that that's probably one of the better ways to go about beating man to man. So this little sail play, you know, actually fairly solid this year um, with the way everything works. You you want to make sure that when you motion in that guy, if you're having issues with the shading, which you might, you know, that's why I say just motion him in, put him on a little drag, get that snap throw right there, get that rack catch, and you're going to be able to get out and go for a lot of yards. Combining that with the mesh concept is absolutely critical uh, this year. The mesh concept is basically two drags. Right, you can redrag them if you want. Uh, I like to stock mesh routes personally um, a lot. What you'll see here, whoops, that little motion in corner route is 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 going to be very effective for you. The meshes underneath will work. Typically, you'll get a very natural rub once they come across here. One of them is going to pop open, and you just read it and hit it outside pass, lead it, and click on and swerve. So. There are ways to beat man-to-man -man this year, guys. It's a little bit more tricky. It's a little bit more tighter, and that's why I recommend playing with the Packers because Aaron Rodgers is going to be able to really help you because he can throw the ball into really tight spaces. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video tutorial on how to beat man-to-man -man coverage. It really is all about trying to get man switches and man rubs, and you can do that differently than you've ever been able to do it in the past. But man coverage is good this year. Make no mistake about it. The underneath is going to be the way to beat it. Anyways, guys, I hope you are looking forward to Ben 21. It's going to be a great year. Again, if you want that full offensive scheme, uh, we got some better man beaters in that offensive ebook. You can pick that up down low. Also, have a defensive ebook that's in that as well for you, um, teaching not only how to run man coverage at a high level, but also how to get some pressure. So, if you want to check those out, those are in the description as well. We've got a lot of great reviews. One of the guys said it's the best $25 that he's spent on a guide ever in Madden. So, uh, anyway, just a lot of really good material coming out. I hope that this stuff is helping you. There's some videos that are popping up right now that I want you to check out that are going to also be able to help you get better at Madden. And last but not least, guys, make sure that you join my Discord. I would really appreciate it.